I, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to God. Like with the gift you said, throughout the year, Sunday by Sunday, uh, the church is still standing. Praise God. We've been to Scotland, traveling about 820 miles per weekend. And God has preserved us, amen, all the time. And you're going to come and say, thank you, Jesus. Praise God. First Samuel chapter number two. Hannah says, and my, my heart rejoices in the Lord. Amen. amen. And today I just come to encourage somebody. It's your heart rejoicing in the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Hannah says in 1 Samuel chapter number two, verse number one. Say, and Hannah prayed, and Hannah prayed. You see, Hannah had had issues before. I mean, this year has been a quite a challenging year. So many issues and obstacles and everything. But in the end, we have, some of us have seen some supernatural restoration. Praise God. And this is a kind of a restoration that Hannah had received. And like the one leopard who came to say thank you to the Elohim, Hannah was that grateful woman. Hallelujah. Is there any grateful woman in the house? Is there anybody who says, I am grateful? I am grateful to God because the prayer you pray in the beginning of the year, you are not praying the same prayer at the end of the year. Hallelujah. You have seen some answered prayer, and this is what Hannah saw that at the end of the year, she came and said, and she prayed to God that my heart, my heart, my heart rejoiced in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. Beloved, it is not in the breakthrough that she received. It is not in the testimony that she had gotten. But her horn is exalted in the Lord. The Lord that gave her the breakthrough. The Lord that exalted her horn. She is so grateful and thankful. And today I've come to join with you. And to celebrate God with you. And say, is there anyone in the house who is grateful to the Lord? Maybe you don't have the testimony others have had. Maybe you have not had the experience so good as others might have experienced. But there is something on the inside of you. Even when the physical things don't match up, spiritually she is satisfied. Maybe you say, I don't have the husband yet, but I am happy in my spirit. Maybe I don't have that business yet, but I, my heart sinks. Maybe I don't have that marriage yet. I don't have that children yet. I don't have that status yet. I don't have that roof yet. I don't have that mortgage yet. I don't have... But there is something on the inside that gives me peace. Like my brother said, as he testified that, I mean, you go through the storm, but in the midst of it all, he had the peace. The peace that the world cannot give. Say, my heart, I've just come to talk to the harness of the house. Today we forget about all the Jacobs, we forget about all the Esau's, we forget about all the Daniels and the Joseph, we, we, we forget about the Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. We want to talk to the Hannahs. Are there any Hannah in the house? Is there anybody in the house who says, I, 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 I've got the spirit of Hannah in me. I've got the spirit of Hannah in me. Ah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I could see Penefeas laughing, ridiculing her ridiculing her and I see Hannah at the altar oh maybe some of you beginning of the year you have cried at the altar and the pastor did not even understand the meaning of your cry and like the chief priest could not discern the cry of Hannah and say get out of this holy place this is a consecrated place of the Lord it is not a place for drunkards like you and Hannah said oh my Lord your handmaiden is not drunk but it's bitterness of sorrow. I have an issue to deal and to resolve with the Lord that even the chief priest could not discern the need of Hannah. And many a times as pastors we can miss it. Moses, one of the greatest pastors, he missed it. When it came to the inheritance of the children of Zelophehad, then Moses missed him. Then the Lord said unto him, listen to the ladies. And give 
them that which is due them. So Hannah now is not bitter nurturing at the altar, but now she says, My heart rejoices in the Lord. Is there anybody in the house who says, My heart rejoices in the Lord? That my home, oh Lord, thou hast exalted. Aren't you glad that your enemy did not rejoice over you? Yes. Hannah understood what it meant to have an enemy. Because the, her enemy was in her own household. Oh. Say, my mouth is a lamp. May the Lord give you the biggest testimony. Yes. Some of you have testified, but you have not seen your testimony yet. That is just an indication that the Lord is about to bless you real good. God is just giving you something to hold on into that he will bless you. He will double honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. That he will bring you, he will bring you to a place of abundance and peace and comfort and prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. She understood and knew how it is to live with your enemy. Say, but my mouth is enlarged. When they thought they would grow over you. Psalm 124, verse number 6. But blessed be God. He did not leave us to be a prey to their teeth. Is there any Hannah in the house? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As we many songs this song, I would like to reflect on God's goodness and mercy throughout the year. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Oh, 
Jesus, that I am not ending this year without your will. I am not entering into 2019 without your will. Father, whatever you need to do, choose your moment. Do that which you only can do in the name of Jesus. I surrender my agenda. I surrender my will. I surrender my thoughts. I surrender my attitude. I surrender my whatever my position, my title. And my family, I surrender unto you and say, Father, have your moment. Do that only you can do in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we yield unto you. Do that you need to do. Choose your moments, whatever you need to do. Yes. What moment you choose. What moment you choose. Whatever your plans. Oh my God. Father, as a ministry. Let your will. Whatever you choose. Whatever demand you place on us, we are ready. Whatever it takes. Whatever sacrifice you demand of us. We are ready, Lord. What moment you choose. Yes. Whatever your plans. Yes, my heart rejoices in the Lord. Be done in me. Thank you, Jesus. So be my guide. Oh, be our guide be in 2019. Father, be our guide. Be, be our guide. Be our guide. Lead us the way we should go. Oh, my yes. Lord. Please lay your hands upon me. Let your victorious right hand. Rest upon us. Oh, so be my 
Oh Jesus. Somebody put your hands together. That is amazing. That is amazing. 